Okay, so today we're going to start off with a quick review of transformations and then we're going to learn how to graph transformations. So our first kind of transformation is called the translation. It's also known as a slide. We take an object and we'll move it one direction and get an image that's in the exact same place. Next we have a rotation where you take a object and you rotate it around a point. So we're rotating it around this point. And reflection is where you have a line that you're going to reflect it over and you just produce the mirror image of the first shape. So now we're going to do some graphing. So for each point, write its reflection. So for 2, negative 3, first we'll plot the, fir the original point. So 2, negative 3, that's A. And we want to reflect it across the x-axis. Well, if you remember, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So we're going to reflect it across this axis. So when we reflect across the x-axis, we keep our same x-coordinate but we're gonna make we're gonna take the opposite y coordinate. So when you go from coordinate from quadrant four up to quadrant one, you're gonna go from a negative y value to a positive y value. So this point becomes two positive three. Two positive three. And this is a prime. So this time we're going to take B and reflect it across the y-axis. <coughs> so negative 1, positive 2, B. And we're going to reflect it across the y-axis, which is this vertical axis right here. So when we reflect it across the y-axis, we're going to keep our same y-point and take the opposite x-coordinate. Because if I go from quadrant 2, to quadrant 1, I go from a negative x to a positive x. So this becomes positive 1. 1, 2. This is B prime. So now we're going to do some more examples. So we're going to find the image. Uh, and so we're going to do whatever they tell us to do, and we're going to produce an image similar to this one. So first we're going to reflect it across the y-axis. So when we do that, we keep the same y-coordinate. So first we have to find the coordinates of each point. u is 1, 2, v is 3, 2, and t is 3, 4. So we're going to keep the same y-coordinate for each we're going to take the opposite x-coordinate. This time, if we go from 1 to quadrant 2, we're going to go from having a positive x to, go to having a negative x. So we're going to take the negative value of each. So negative 1, negative 3, negative 3. So now let's plot this new shape. Negative 1 up to negative 3 up to negative 3 up 4. So here is this triangle T U V oh no excuse me V U reflected across the Y axis. So now we're going to translate this shape to right. So when we translate we're just going to push it over 2 to the right. So we're going to take our coordinates and we're going to add 2 to the x coordinate because if we're moving it over right we're going to increase our x coordinate by 2. So this becomes 1 plus 2 which is 3 one <coughs> 3 plus 2 which is 5 and 3 plus 2 which is 5. So now let's plot this new shape. 
So three to this point right here. I'll use a different color so you can see it better. This point right here is now point U. V is five to this is our new V and T is up here at five four. And that's our translated image. So that's all we're going to do with transformations today. Make sure you come back because we're going to start talking about triangle inequality.